Hello. Happy Friday evening. I hope you guys had a great week. It seems like it went by super fast. I wanted to share with you tonight a fun weekend project that you can do. Um, pretty much anybody can do that. Um, doesn't involve any paint. All you need is some paper, magazines, and a glue stick or some Elmer's glue. Don't have either of those. You can get creative and, I don't know, use tape or something like that. But um, I will show you two that I did. And it's just a simple collage. They're in my art journal. So here's one. And then one. Here is another one. This one's actually a face, but they are really fun to do. And grab whatever magazines you have laying around. Actually, for the first one, I'm not really a magazine person. I don't, I don't have magazines laying around my house. And I struggled with this. It was actually an assignment um, that I had to do. And there was so much resistance around this for me because I didn't have the quote unquote right materials. And so I thought of other ways that I could, you know, finish the assignment without doing it the way that we were instructed to do. Um, and then I realized I was just going to use what I had and I had some, you know, those local, like, um, I don't know, they're like, not really a newspaper, but they're not really a magazine. They, I don't know what they're called. Um, a lot of times they're like free, like they have local events or something in them. Well, for some reason I had two of those that I had saved, I'm not sure why, um, but I found them in my stuff. And then I had another uh, magazine that was like an essential oil one. And if you know me, you know that I love my essential oils. So anyway, I just got those and whatever, you're drawn to like whatever catches your eye just cut that out rip it out um you know ripping is a great fun way to do it rather than cutting it just kind of is a little messy and wild you know when you cut you want to be kind of precise so you don't have to get all fancy just whatever pictures like catch your eye or words or colors even just rip them out. And when you're finished, just get out your glue stick or your glue, something sticky, and put them all on the paper and see what you come up with. You might be surprised. Um, keep it, look at it every couple of months and it will be interesting to see. Sometimes um, it can be our inner guidance showing us something um, that we weren't really aware of before and other times it can just be a fun project and you know I was drawn to some colors some words and things like that um, so have fun with it you can do shapes like the second one I showed you let's see I'm gonna show you this one again um, this time I didn't really have I had a few things left over from uh, my first collage, I'm trying to get things, the camera, and um, you can kind of see, but I didn't have enough, and the assignment was to create a face, and again, there was like resistance, it just, I wanted to paint, and um, anyway, and I didn't, I didn't think I have, I had what I needed, so what I ended up using was some colorful printed napkins. Now they didn't work super great because the color kind of um, rubbed off a little bit, but I mean, you can see they worked fine. And 
don't know, she's pretty cool. She has like a forest crown and again, just whatever catches your eye and then arrange them in the shape of a face or maybe you would like to do a flower or um, a sun, a heart, something like that. Or you can do multiple projects. So again, just need some old magazines or colorful napkins, tissue paper. Um, you could even use fabric if you have some old, um, I don't know, some old fabric laying around and glue that on and see what you end up creating. All right, I would love to see your creations. You can post a comment, post them in the comments below. Um, or if you're in my group, you can just upload photos in there. That'd be great. Um, let me know how you enjoy this and what magical picture comes through for you. All right, have a great night, have fun, and I'll see you tomorrow.